Chill out. Welcome back to World Cup Cross Country Racing. And just so you know, it's been one hell of an off season. If you haven't been keeping up to date, well, we're here to help you out. There are six stops and all the regulars are on the cards. Albstadt, Novi Amesto, Liegang, Leger, and Lenza Heide before the finale in Snowshoe, USA. Last season really was one of the strangest going and with no overall titles awarded, Kate Courtney and Nino Scherter's 2019 victories will be up for grabs 607 days after they were last both crowned. So much has happened since we last saw you in Novi Mesto. Riders moving teams, creating teams, new team managers and fresh new looks. It is all go in the world of elite cross country racing. But one thing is for certain, there's no need for change at Scott SRAM with both Nino and Kate heading into 2021 with a target on their back. I think for me, I always do well as kind of an underdog and you're never the underdog when you're defending the World Cup overall title. Um, but I do think that after this break, after dropping, I think I'm like 60th or 70th in UCI rankings, I went from first to 70th uh, in one year. I, I do feel a bit like an underdog and like I have the ability to surprise myself and, and hopefully some other people with my performances this year. I have this interesting mix of confidence uh, where I, I know I can do it. I know the last time I raced a full World Cup season under normal conditions that it went quite well. Um, but I also have this kind of humility and, and lower expectation of myself that in, in many cases allows me to perform at my best. Her teammate, meanwhile, has been reflecting on retaining his overall as the young guns try and hunt him down. Now with looking back, yeah, not everything was perfect in Novemesto and also in, in Leogang. I was used to always battle uh, for the victory like the past years and then some of a sudden I, I was in a World Cup that I fall back to 25th position, but I'm I don't know when I was last riding in on 25th position in a World Cup race. So I'm also not getting younger. Uh, a lot of people are expecting, yeah, now I, you know, gets a bit older and maybe it starts to get a bit weaker. But I wanna, I wanna always prove that it's, it's still not time uh, for that, and I'm still on my best. At this stage, we can't not mention teammate Lars Forster, having won the final race in Snowshoe in 2019. He's certainly one to keep an eye on. So, with all this talk of overalls, one rider stands out as a key contender in the women's field and is also the least surprising transfer news we've heard. World champion Pauline Ferran Prevost joins her partner Julian Absalon in swapping Canyon for his team and presumably much simpler travel arrangements. Having gained the women's world champion at Absolute Absalon, there wasn't room for the men's. Jordan Saru announced his departure to specialized factory racing. I have great teammates. We are in good atmosphere together. When it's hard in training sessions and yeah, in races, I think about my title and my jersey, so it gives me extra power for the hard momentum. His new homes had a total refurb, with some of the younger riders moving on. Behind the scenes, there's the return of a familiar face. It's not that we needed a reset. I think it led to a reset. If you have been with a brand for such a long time, sometimes the grass looks a bit green on the other side than it is on your side. We're definitely not the brand that tried to keep them and throw money at them. If someone decides to leave, uh, it's not the money that should keep them on the brand. I knew who the new rider is going to be or that the addition to the team will be, but I didn't know that, that some of the young riders will leave and sign for, for Canondale. There's certainly been no messing about. Talking Camp is of one of our strongest lineups ever, and it's backed up by other names in the roster. Gerhard Kirschbarmer joins youngsters Sina Fry and Laura Stieger, two former under 23 and junior world champions. Fry joins from Ghost Factory Racing, while Stieger has already impressed at an elite level. Last year, she took podiums in both short track and Olympic distances. It would be amazing to continue. Uh, on the performance I had last year in Nova Mesta, or even better. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of things what I learned last year, especially riding 
against super fast women and to stay calm. The girls are fast till the last minute and you have to fight every minute. Uh, that's the most or the biggest thing I learned last year. So it's a slimmed down team in the specialized pit. What of those who left? Former world champion Annika Langvad retired after an illustrious career in the sport. Langvad's teammate Simon Andreasen joins Alan Haverley as they both begin a new chapter at Cannondale. He looks a red hot prospect. Have you seen someone that relaxed winning a World Cup? Simon Andreasen from Denmark is going to take his first World Cup win at his very first attempt. Unbelievable! The Dane and the South African link up with Henrik Avancini at Cannondale. The Brazilian superstar took race two in the Czech Republic, his first cross-country World Cup win, and the most emotional one at that. Henrik Avancini right away with it! Avancini takes his first cross-country World Cup win! Brazil's first cross-country World Cup win! Finally he's done it! For Nove Mesto, I think was a great lesson to me because I achieved what I wanted to achieve, which was a win, riding the way I I know how to ride. I mean, by lap six, when Nino, he made like a few things that's really typical you know, for him. And I could I could predict, you know, everything that he was doing on the race. And I say, okay, this, yeah, you are on my hands, my friend. I, I can see every move you're doing. So <laughs> you're not going anywhere today. And I'm going to beat you on the final sprint. If my mind is on the right place, I mean, the, that guy, it's not beating me on a, on a finish straight and I just want to cement that on, on my mind and also on his mind. So if he wants to win in the future, he needs to drop me before the, the final straight. Just say. Manny Fumich has delayed his proposed retirement plans for a year and that completes a very strong lineup. Prepare for all out assault in 2021. With all the changes at Cannondale, Frenchman Maxime Marotte moved on and landed at the refurbed Santa Cruz FSA. They've been quietly going about their business as a totally Italian entity until now. Marotte will be racing in his 100th World Cup next time out alongside fellow newcomers Luca Bredo and Martina Berta, who joined Greta Seivald, who kept her place. Those three keeping the Italian flag flying high. Next, from Italy to Australia. And whilst our eyes have been focused on the European riders, we can't forget Rebecca McConnell. The 29-year-old from Canberra retained her national title in March and is consistently in the top 10. You can never rule her out of a podium spot. Now we've mentioned Pauline leaving Canyon. And what better way to replace her than with two new riders? Welcome Canadians Emily Batty and Laurie Arsenault. A new challenge lies ahead for Emily as she embarks on her own programme, run by her husband Adam Morker, and perhaps for the first time since 2018, a podium spot. Starting a World Cup team was Adam and I's idea like six years ago. You know, being a woman in sport and, and knowing the power that it, it has to have somebody and a team around you that believes in what you're doing, it was important for Adam and I to choose a rider that we really believe in and we're doing this, you know, crawl, walk, run kind of approach with the team. So Lori Arsenault is from Quebec, Canada, and she's actually four-time national champion as well. We've actually been living together here in Victoria, Canada for the past month um, and training together. So amazing person and so much potential. Back at Trek, Evie Richards step up to the elite last year saw her take two short track wins at Novia Mesto. She'll take up the World Cup challenge alongside teammate Yolanda Neff as they aim to reclaim the women's title that Neff last won in 2018. Yeah, I mean, last season I, I wasn't where I would have liked to be and um, yeah, I could feel that I was not in the shape where I would have liked to be, but the body just takes time to recover and it's something that you cannot force, it's not just like a a scar or something with blood or a scratch or something where you can see every day how it's healing so yeah i would say i'm i'm healed or still healing more but yeah i'm, I'm for sure i was very lucky in my recovery and uh, yeah I'm, I'm just i'm just happy that i get to ride my bike whenever i race she landed like she's so amazing i still well her and pauline i just still have to pinch myself when i'm in front of them just because they are such amazing riders. Evie Richards hard on the pedals. Pauline Fredro trying to go with her, but it's going to be Evie Richards. 
Evie Richards is going to do it! Her second World Cup win in one a week! I didn't even think I'd get to race any of the short tracks because I didn't think I'd get enough points. So to look back now and see that I did race them and I won them, I think it's, yeah, it's really special. So no, I was really pleased and it, it was just really nice to be back at the races. Whilst Evie triumphed over shorter distances, she wasn't the only young rider to catch the eye. Luana Lecomte takes her first ever Elite World Cup winner, her very first try. It's unbelievable what we're seeing here in Novia Mesto this week. Frances Luana Lecomte took cross country race one and announced herself in some serious style. She now has the UCI invitation to race as an elite rider, so prepare for more from this exciting 21 year old. The same applies to Great Britain's Tom Pidcock. Just nine days older than Lecomte, now racing in the elite category for the newly launched team Ineos Grenadiers. While Pitcock makes headlines across multi-disciplines, he is following in the footsteps of Matt Schivanderpol. The Dutchman remains with Alps and Phoenix for the upcoming season, and both riders will be mixing up some World Cups into their busy 2021 schedules. Over in the KMC Orbea camp, Victor Koretsky and Milan Varda both stay on for another year, the two taking three top five finishes between them in 2020. For the Dutchman though, lessons were most definitely learned. Looking back to Nova Mesto, I did a lot of things right, but also a lot of things wrong. Like we had really good conversations at the dinner table, also during the World Cups with the team manager and like reflecting on all the stupid things I did during the race. So yeah, it was a good experience and uh, that's also why I'm confident for this year because I really learned a lot. One thing is for sure, we have a mouth-watering year of cross-country racing ahead on Red Bull TV. And with the Olympic Games on the horizon and places still up for grabs, we can expect a couple of explosive opening rounds. Be sure to watch via the Red Bull TV app or online at redbulltv.com. Racing starts in Alpstadt on May the 7th, and we will most definitely see you there.